Welcome back to the Luke Robinson channel. If you are new around here, make sure you are subscribing, smash a like on this video, and most importantly, comment your thoughts in the comment section down below. So, we've had a bit of Villa news in previous episodes. We've had Forest, we've had Newcastle, and we're back. We're back. We're back to this one. We're back to this one. Aston Villa. So... Looks like Leander Dendonka is moving to Napoli on loan. So Napoli have agreed a loan deal with Aston Villa, which includes a non-mandatory option to buy clause worth 7.7 .7 million, 9 million euros for the 28-year-old Belgian midfielder Leander Dendonka. And that's coming from Fabrizio Romano. So, Dendonka looks like he's surplus to requirements. I think Emery has made a couple of players available this window. Dendonka, Callum Chambers, those types of players are surplus to requirements at Aston Villa. Dendonka, I, I like him. I think he, I think the best way to describe him without being totally dis disrespectful is that he does a job and... He does a job well at times when he played against Manchester United. I thought he had a really good game. But for Aston Villa's squad, I feel like we kind of need a little bit more than can just do a job. Especially in that position that Dendonka plays. Dendonka plays in a position that Bubakar Kamara plays in. And if Bubakar Kamara is fit, Bubakar Kamara plays. There is no competition in that position for Bubakar Kamara. And that's something that does need to change. Kamara needs a bit of competition. Every player needs competition. You've got to feel like somebody can take your shirt off you. I think we've got that in different areas, like defence, left-back. We've got it perfectly with Moreno and Luca Dean. But in central midfield, we haven't really got that. We've got it at times with Tielemans and Ramsey. Um, but... That defensive midfield role, that specialised role that Emery's created, it's night and day between what Kamara can do and what another player can do. So I'd like to see another player coming in. Do I think another player will be coming in? Yes, I think that leaves us a little bit light in central midfield. So hopefully we can get somebody in maybe on loan, have a look at them, maybe we've an option to buy if they do really well. So I think in that area, I think we are going to be doing some business. I think that's an area now that needs some cover uh, in case Kamara gets injured, then we got no one. So, uh, yeah, so I, I'd be interesting to see what Aston Villa are going to do now. So I just want to have a little look at Dendonka so far this season. Then, so we are using Sofa Score, and you can help me out massively by scanning this QR code. Sofa Score is the best football app going. You can find all this information, so much data. So scan the QR code if you're watching on a TV, an iPad, or a laptop, um, and then there'll be a, a link in the description for you to download Sofa Score for free. And it massively, massively helps me out. So if you do enjoy my content on the Luke Robinson channel or up the Villa podcast, then make sure that you are, you know, clicking that and, and doing your little bit. So thank you, everybody. So then Donker this season, he's played eight games, only started one. He scored one goal. That was his goal against uh, Manchester United. Uh, so his other stats... Um, you know, his heat map's not too great either, is it? So, you know, really, we, we could be doing a little bit better with him, really. Uh, if we have a look at his market value, it's 10.31 million. So I think that regional fee of what the, the Fabrizio has quoted seems about right. 28 years of age, he's going to want to be able to get back into the Belgian national side as well for the Euros in the summer. So he needs to be playing games, and I think it is best for his career as well that he does he does move on. Now, another player that really, really impressed me yesterday, and more importantly for his goal, Morgan Rodgers' goal against Chelsea, very, very good. Took up a real good position on that left-hand side, drove at the Chelsea defence, Cut inside a little bit, nice finish, opened his body up, curled it into that bottom right corner. Simply exquisite from Rodgers. And if that is something that Rodgers can bring to Aston Villa on that left-hand side, 
We know Jacob Ramsey can do those progressive carries. He's got really good dribbling ability. But Rodgers appears to have that little bit of pace, that little bit of cutting edge, gets in the right areas. Should have had two goals, to be fair, when he cut inside in the first half. But Morgan Rodgers is a player that really, really excites me. Bora played really poor against Chelsea, but Rodgers had a decent, decent game. So if we have a look at his stats, he's the top goal scorer so far in the Carabao Cup as well. So he's been doing really, really well for Bora in the Carabao Cup. Against Chelsea, played 90 minutes, scored one goal, 73% passing accuracy. Ground jewels, he won four out of 14. Aerial jewels, he won one out of two. Possession lost 14 times. He was fouled once um, and he was offside twice. He made two tackles and was dribbled past one. So a real good, good game from Rodgers. Uh, and he did show us a little bit of what he's all about, which is something that's uh, really pleasing to see. His positioning is a big strength of his. Um, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. And hopefully now that they are out of this competition, Villa can really ramp up what they're going to be doing in the transfer window and get Rodgers over the line. So impressed with him as well. So shout out to Sofa Score. Help me out if you can. Uh, it's massively appreciated. So let's have a little look then at some of the other rumours. Um, Al Nassar are lining up an audacious bid for Brazilian midfielder Casemiro. Um, can you see that happening? Probably could, to be fair, couldn't you? Um, yeah, Casemiro. I think United are going to want to try and go in a different direction soon as well. Osman has hinted that he's ready to leave Napoli in the summer with Chelsea, Manchester United and Real Madrid, all linked to the 25-year-old Nigeria forward who has a lease clause of over 100 million. Um, what else have we got today? Let's have a little scan of what we've got. Chelsea have registered their interest in 36-year-old French forward Karim Benzema from Saudi side El he had seems like a lot of the players that have been at Saudi are looking to jump ship, so it tells you everything you need to know about what it's like playing for a Saudi club. I don't really think we've got anything else of serious interest today, so yeah, I think that's that does us for transfer rumors today, anyway. Um, but yeah. Then Doncat, love to let you love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know what you thought on Rogers' performance. If you saw Rogers play yesterday against Chelsea, I did do a massive episode over on Up the Villa podcast yesterday, and it was all about Aston Villa's finances, how Aston Villa can improve, where we need to be going commercially. Uh, to create more revenue, where we need to be going with the corporate as well. So if you haven't already, uh, go and check this episode out. It was with the brilliant Kieran Maguire from Price of Football. Uh, great insight to how a club off the field should be operating and how we are lagging behind with a lot of the teams that are above us in the Premier League as well. So cheers, everyone, for your support on this channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe. Trying to grow this channel as well um, and comment your thoughts and drop a like as well. See you in a bit.